Okay, so uh, the next sort of mini step in uh, your annotation construction process is finding an illustration for at least one of your annotations. Now, most likely this will be uh, your more contextual annotation, okay? Um, and I'll give you a hint, I'll, I'll give you a sort of picture of what this will look like uh, when it's all done. So here, for instance, is an annotation, um, uh, an author sort of biography, a very brief author biography that has this, um, this portrait of the author here, okay? So you're going to be finding an image that will help you illustrate, okay, your annotation topic. Okay, so this is one about playhouses uh, during the time period, and here's an image of um, a playhouse from the 18th century. Okay, um, so you get a sense of, of what we're doing here. Okay, um, I want to show you how to find uh, an image that is going to be relevant for Lady Susan uh, and is going to be appropriate for this project. Remember that authority and accuracy and reliability are really, really important in a project like this because we have to be sure that what we're reading online is um, is valid, okay? That we are not being misled in any way, that we are seeing everything we need to see and understand, okay? We know who's constructed this. Um, we know uh, what metrics they're using uh, to validate it and so on. Um, so we need to find images that are reliable and appropriate for the material. What does that mean? Well, if we're talking about something from a certain time period, then you want to try to find an image that's from that time period, okay? Um, you don't want to find a contemporary artistic rendering of what the time period might have been like. No, you want to find an actual image that is from the time period, okay? Um, you also want to find an image that you can be sure is reliable, that it hasn't been edited or doctored or cropped or cut in any way, okay? So this means that you want to avoid Pinterest like the plague, okay? And you also want to skew towards um, libraries or museums um, or, or, or websites that are reliable for that purpose, okay? Uh, so what does this look like in practice? All right, well, let's do a search um, in Google for an image to accompany the, the widow annotation, remember, uh, that I've been working on. So Lady Susan describes having been four months, is having only been four months a widow, right? So I was like, okay, well, what does that look like in the 18th century? So I'm going to do a Google search for widow and 18th century, okay? Now, this will show you just a basic Google search. It comes up with a basic Google search like you're all familiar with, okay? If you click images over here, that will take you just to the image search. You can also just do a, an image search from, from the start, images.google.com, I believe, right? Um, but this, I find this very simple and straightforward. Uh, this is going to give me a whole bunch of images um, that hit these keywords, widow 18th century. And I'm adding 18th century in there, right, because I want to get images that are from the time period that we're thinking about. Roughly, you know, 1760 to maybe 1830 or so, or, so, or something like that, around that time period, okay? Because we can be sure that material that's sourced from that time period, Austin would have a familiarity with or she, you know, it, it, it speaks to her time period, to that time period, okay? Um, so widow, 18th century. So there are a lot of things that are up here. I am noticing some things from Alamy, um, some things from on blog sites. Um, here's here are a couple Pinterest sites. Okay, um, let's get rid of Pinterest just to be on the safe side. How do I do that? You add minus and then a keyword. Okay, there are other ways to do this, but I find this pretty simple. Um, so I'm just going to minus Pinterest. Now, I'm going to get a lot fewer interesting results as a, you know, as a response to that. Um, so, uh, so that's something just to keep in mind, okay? Um, among these, then, you want to sort of try to identify which look more appropriate for your interests, okay? This one looks kind of interesting to me, the Widow 18th century, okay? I'm going to click into that. Um, now, this is showing me um, a stock photo, okay? It says right here, stock photo. It's got watermarks all over it, okay? 
Uh, and this is something that I'm gonna have to pay for if I wanna use. Do not do this, okay? Let's not use stock photos. If you think, think that this is gonna be a great picture for you, um, then what you wanna do is try to find the actual original source, okay? So I might um, do a Google search for paintings by George Romney, right? And then see if I can find this image, say, at a museum, okay? The original image is held at a museum in Spain, okay? So you could also go to that website, the, Spain, uh, the, the, the Spanish museum that's referenced here and see if you can find this image on their website, okay? Um, I'm not gonna do that, it's too complicated right now. Um, so I am gonna go back to my images, okay? This is not one that's gonna work. Are there any other ones here that might work? This one looks pretty interesting. Um, it's a very fancy gown she's got on. Um, okay, widowed worlds and women living alone in Austin in the long 18th century. Okay, so it's already sort of speaking about Austin. Um, I'm gonna click into it and just see what, what I can see. All right, so this is taking me to a blog. Um, now, it may or may not be a good blog. I don't know. Um, I'm not really too worried about that right now. What I do need to find out, though, is it, whether I can use this image, okay? So this image is captioned as a fashion plate for a supposed wealthy widow. If I click into this, I get a picture, but I still don't know where this comes from. I don't know anything about it, okay? So I should not use this image. What I'm gonna do instead is go back and notice that there are lots of these related images here, okay? Some of them are even the same, right? Like this one is the same. Um, this one looks like it comes from the same book, actually. Um, and here's another one, right? Uh, so some of these look pretty interesting. I could click more if I wanted to. So the related images is a good place to look, okay? This one is not gonna work for me, okay? but maybe something, let's see what this one looks like, okay? Um, I'm gonna click into this. And this is an essay about fashion in the 18th century, particularly in France. I'm gonna find the image that's referenced. These are some great images, aren't they? <laughs> um, okay, not relevant, not relevant. Where is that image we were looking for? Oh. Oh, here's a here's a crazy woman's uh, a woman's like enormous headdress, right? Which was very fashionable during the time period. All right, here we go. Um, okay, so uh, here's the image that we're looking for, and it's given me a much better caption. Magazine illustration from 1781 showing an outfit for court mourning, right? So-called Polish look from the same issue. Da, 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 da. Images courtesy of the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. Okay, so if I click on this, let's see what happens. This is gonna take me to a much better illustration of it, okay? I could use this image, okay? Um, and I could sort of link it back to um, this, this reference, okay? But you know, let me just see if I can find a better image. I don't really want the second image here, okay? Let's go back again and see if we can find a better version, okay? Here is the same image um, but remember, this is a related image to this one. So sometimes, you know, you'll go down a little bit of a rabbit hole, okay? I'm gonna click this one. It's the same image. Maybe this will be a better source for us, okay? Okay, uh, all right, great. Um, this is all about morning attire, when black became the new black. And it's from a website um, that is a library and a museum, okay? The Huntington Library Art Museum and Botanical Gardens. So uh, this is this is gonna be a, a, probably a good source for me. Okay, we've got a nice big high quality image here. Um, I've got a great caption. Notice again that it references um, the Museum of Fine Arts at Boston, in Boston, okay? So I could actually go to the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston and see if I can online, online and see if I can find a, an image of this directly from that website, okay? But this looks like it's gonna be a great source for me, okay? So what I wanna do is make a note of where I'm getting this from, okay? Here's the URL where this image comes from, okay? And here is um, how you save the image. You click Save Image As, okay? Um, and then you wanna be very aware of this caption. This is telling us something about where this image has come from. You're gonna be doing something similar to this. This is, this is the really important part though, that this whole image comes ultimately from the Museum of Fine Arts, okay? 
you could say from a, uh, an article at the Huntington Library, um, but uh, it'd be better if you indicated where it came from originally, okay? Um, so I've found this fantastic image. Um, I've downloaded it to my computer, and then what I wanna do is I'm gonna upload it as a reply on our discussion board. Um, and I might potentially use this image in my annotation for uh, widowhood in the 18th century, okay? Uh, she's quite a fashionable woman, isn't she? Um, she really reminds me of Lady Susan, which is, I think, why this is such a great image. Uh, so, okay, that's basically how to find a good image um, on Google. Uh, you do have to keep in mind the keywords uh, matter, okay? Uh, and definitely keep that idea of context and authority in mind. So you don't want to get an image that is from the 15th century because Austin, it wouldn't be relevant to Austin. You wouldn't want to find an image from the 20th century because that wouldn't be relevant to Austin. You do want to try to find an image from the 18th century, ideally from England, but since we know that Lady Susan admires the French, um, this would make a totally appropriate um, image, okay? It's well in context. All right, have fun um, digging around and finding some great images. I look forward to seeing what you come up with.